55 code. Today we will be building a very cool uh, weather app uh, completely in web. And if you want to take a look at what our final app will kind of look like, you can take a look here. Um, so as you can see, it looks like a, a weather app on a phone. And we have, uh, it gives you the weather for where you're currently located and a forecast for um, seven days. And this is using real data uh, using a weather API. Uh, you can also go into a specific day uh, forecast. And this is really only um, kind of an outlay. Okay, this isn't using real data. This is just kind of uh, functionality. Uh, and you can move between days. And you also have a monthly forecast uh, where you can move between months and also view the daily forecast for a specific date. Um, so in this tutorial, we'll kind of be focusing on this home page. Uh, and this tutorial will be broken up into several videos. Uh, in this first video, we'll cover the uh, basic kind of outline of the app and uh, also how to uh, find our location. Uh, and in the next video, uh, we will talk about the uh, weather API and how to, um, you know, make a request and get data that we will use to populate our app. Um, I would say this is a uh, intermediate level um, tutorial, uh, so feel free to watch through it again, and uh, you can check out the final code in the description if you need any uh, any help uh, following along. Uh, also important to know is that this tutorial will be using um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This won't be a JavaScript only tutorial. So uh, let's dive right in. So right here I have uh, a blank um, page. Okay, so we're going to start coding uh, over here. And first, just in this JavaScript panel, I want to kind of outline, um, you know, based on uh, our requirements, what we have to do. So uh, we're going to want to have, let's say, a uh, phone screen. Uh, and this is all in the outline. And then in this phone screen, what we'll want to have is an upper section with the uh, location. And then we're going to want to have a middle section. And this is going to have um, an a background image and um, weather. Okay, and then we're going to have a bottom section with a seven day forecast. Um, and in terms of um, kind of you know data that we're going to need, so we're going to need. Um, our location and we're going to need that uh, both in uh, longitude and latitude and we're also going to need uh, the city that we're based in and we're also going to need um, weather data from our uh, API. So let's jump into kind of making the basic um, phone screen layout. So right here in our body, let's just um, make a div. And this div is going to be our screen. Let's give it the class of screen. And uh, as we said, in our inside our screen, we're going to have three sections. Um, so that'll be three divs. And let's just copy paste that and just format. Excellent. And so let's just call this upper section uh, middle section. section 
And then, uh, so within each of these divs, Uh, so here, what we're going to have is uh, just, let's say, uh, H3 header. And this is local weather. And then here, we're going to have an H1. And this is going to be, uh, this is going to be our city. Okay, so this is going to be populated by data, um, but we're going to give it just a default fallback, and that's going to be called uh, city. Okay, so that's pretty much for the top section, and then the middle section we had, and you can kind of jump back to the original code just to reference and see what we had. So we have this background image, and we're going to change that using um, the background image of this uh, class here, and inside we have just a paragraph and it says uh, currently and then we have um, let's say an H2 and this is going to be our temperature I'm just going to put a T holder for now um, and then we also have a description And this is also kind of helping us uh, figure out kind of what uh, information, uh, what data we're going to need to be pulling from our API. We're going to need uh, temperatures, we're going to need descriptions, uh, and we're going to need uh, these icons as well. Um, so let's kind of write that down in our JavaScript section so that we remember uh, what kind of data we actually need. So we need uh, temperature uh, and we need uh, description and we need uh, our icon. Uh, great. And uh, okay, so in the lower section, what do we have here? We have just kind of a, uh, let's say an H2. It says forecast. And then we have, um, we have, let's say, another div, which will hold our seven day forecast. And we'll just call this class uh, forecast. And then within this forecast wrapper, we have um, seven, uh, you know, items. Each one has a day of the week. So let's just write there day for now. And then uh, it'll have an icon. So this will be an image. And then uh, we will have the temperature, put there another T, and we have a description. Great. Uh, so let's take a look at what our app kind of looks like now if we run our code. And as you can see, I mean, there's no styling at all. It's just kind of very uh, basically put out there. So let's just give it a tiny bit of styling uh, just so that we can kind of see a basic outline of what's going on here. So um, first thing we're going to do is just we have our screen. So let's style that. And let's give it you know a height of let's say uh, 460 pixels and width of, let's say, 280 pixels. And this all can be changed later on. Uh, let's give it a solid border. And uh, let's give it a border radius, 15 pixels. Uh, let's see how that looks. Great, so we already have a phone outline. Um, and then uh, for upper, 
uh, section. I'm going to give it some padding. And I'm going to copy this for the lower section as well. And we need, might need to adjust this um, you know, as kind of as the uh, you know, as we as we develop our app and we see different things that we're going to want to do here. Um, excellent. So we have the basics. Uh, it's still very, very, um, you know, basic, as I said. Uh, and because the most important part for our app is going to be the data. Uh, design is something that, you know, everybody can change kind of according to what they uh, want. So as I said, we're gonna in this section we're just gonna kind of build the outline, the wireframe of the app, and then we're gonna focus on this uh, city part. Okay, so for this city, we're gonna be uh, needing to find our location, uh, and there's really two ways that we can uh, find location using JavaScript, um, or two widely used ways, and that is using either uh, geolocation or um, to use somebody's I, to use your IP address. Um, and the reason that we're going to use IP address is because it is uh, you don't need to get special permissions to do that uh, because you know the uh, servers already know what the IP address is once you're connecting. And you don't for geolocation, you're going to need a prompt and you're going to need to ask for permission. Uh, so this is also um, an API uh, and you can kind of just go on Google and search for um, you know IP lookup um, and the one that I specifically uh, decided to use is called uh, extreme IP lookup and uh, as you can see it's a free IP lookup geolocation API uh, so, you know, here you can see it found my exact location uh, in New York just using the IP that I am using to connect uh, right over here. So, um, in order to uh, use their API, you're going to need to create a login. Um, I already have a user here. Um, I just can remember my path. So after you successfully log in, you can go and get your uh, free API key. Um, and here they give you a short explanation of how to use the API key. Uh, and you just need to put it as a query um, at the end of the uh, URL. So if you use this first uh, query here, then it'll just give you the API uh, It'll just give you the uh, location information for um, the, the IP that you're using on your uh, local computer. Or you could, if you wanted to, you could also pass another location's IP uh, address to get a different location. And this could be helpful later on if we're testing our weather app and we want to test out how it would work in different locations. Uh, and, but we won't talk about that right now. So we just need really this first um, API example and let's actually put that right into our browser so that we can see what the JSON uh, that comes back looks like. Okay, so this is basically the information that we're going to get. This is the data that we're going to get when we make a call uh, to this API uh, from our code. And you can see here um, there's some information about the location, but we see here city. Okay, and this is what's important to us and latitude and longitude are also going to be important to us later on. So this is really the information that we need from this API. So let's go back into our code and let's build out a function that will uh, make a call to this API. So let's just call this um, get location from IP. Okay, and this is going to be an async function because we are making um, you know, an API request, so we're going to have to wait for this data to come back. And basically what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and we are going to, uh, let's say, response equals fetch. Okay, so fetch is basically, um, you know, 
what we want to make when we want to make a, a call to another uh, to an API. That's what we're going to use. And this should, uh, with, if we don't give it any more information, it should be making a basic uh, GET request. And in here, I put the link uh, that we were provided to, we were provided uh, by the service that we're using. Uh, and here, don't forget to use await. Uh, that's the async element of this uh, function. And then we are going to return the uh, response and we want this to be in JSON format, so don't forget uh, response.json, okay? Uh, and here we're also going to add an await uh, for this. So, uh, and here let's just deal with the case of an error. So, uh, sorry, catch. And if we have an error, then we will just uh, console that log error and whatever uh, error message we get. And, uh, and now let's just write another function that will basically make a call to this, uh, um, that will call this function and then just uh, console uh, the response. So let's just say, uh, let's call this function test and this will be equal to also an async uh, async function and basically what this async function is going to do is just say uh, location or sorry const location is equal to uh, get location from IP uh, obviously we don't want to forget the await here because this is asynchronous and then we will uh, just console this location And what we should get back is the data from our uh, API. So let's try and run this code. Obviously, don't forget to call test. Okay. So let's run this. And you can see here in the console that we got uh, an object which has all the data um, from our API. So we could take this one step further and let's change out this test function. And we'll let's just call this uh, get city and uh, so this function will do something still very similar it'll get our location from the location IP and it'll return uh, location dot city okay so now if we just um, and we can get rid of this console dot log and then uh, what we can do is just uh, console.log get city. And let's see uh, what we get here. And it comes back uh, null because uh, this console, because uh, this is asynchronous and this console.log is synchronous. Um, so instead of uh, consoling this within, outside of our function, we actually uh, should put our console uh, over here and instead of that we'll just do location.city and now uh, let's check it out uh, obviously we need to call get city and uh, you can see New York comes back okay because that's the city that I'm located in right now and if you were to run this function uh, anywhere from from anywhere else around the world, you might get a different city because you're located in a different place. Okay, this is a very real uh, life situation where you're actually getting the current location of your current IP address. Um, great, so the last thing that we wanna do um, with this information is uh, populate this city um, part of our HTML. So let's uh, give this an ID and let's just say this ID is city. Okay, and then what we're going to do here is let's make another function that's going to be called uh, set city. Okay, and this is going to be uh, also a function. And let's say 
const city equals await uh, get city. And then what we're going to want to do is document dot um, get element by ID city dot inner HTML equal to city. And then uh, right here we'll just call set city. And let's run our code. And you can see that now our app updates and tells us that we are in New York. Uh, so this is the end of the first part of our uh, weather app tutorial. And as you can see, what we did is we built a kind of wireframe uh, outline for our app. We outlined what our requirements are, and we did the first step of retrieving our data. Uh, and we got our location using uh, an IP API. And we have our city, but we also have within this data the uh, longitude and latitude, which we will use next time to make our call to the weather API. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this first part of our tutorial. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can follow along uh, and see the next installations. So see you next time.